Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another unboxing. There isn't a box because the bag was so large, but it did come packed really, really nicely. I'll give you one guess as to the bag I've got. You guys know I like me a trend piece sometimes. We're gonna crack her open. Ooh! It is the gorgeous YSL tote. I can't remember the name of this tote if there's an actual name. If there's a separate name and it's not just the tote bag, I'll put it on screen. The leather of this bag is absolutely gorgeous. It is so soft and buttery. Really, really soft, but also durable the way leather is. The logo is absolutely beautiful. Um, the gold is not too yellow, it's not too orange, it is just perfect. Really, really nice. If you have a look at some of the details at the top as well, the stitching, gorgeous stitching, also really nice detailing with the Saint Laurent on these little sections. Can I show you? just on the end amazing and Saint Laurent around the that bit there inside it is just a huge tote size bag with a zipper pocket on one side just one zipper pocket there is no slip pocket anywhere but it did come with an extra little beauty case which is very very handy and you can easily just slip it off as well so you can take it and remove it and put it in another bag if you wanted to. So that's really great. Um, and you can have it so that it's not attached to the bag as well. And they just come off super, super easy. Really great design. Um, now the lining on the inside. So I will show you guys the branding. It's on a little leather tab. And then this here is like a ribbed fabric. Um, a little bit like a nylon fabric but not really kind of durable very suited to a tote bag um, if you were I mean I don't know if I'd be taking this to the beach but if you wanted to take it to the beach or to a pool party or something like that you definitely could the internals is a really easy wipe down um, it looks a little bit waterproof the way the material feels so I wouldn't be surprised if it was really really simple bag doesn't have any feet or anything at the bottom and it does not have a pocket or anything on the back so it is just a very simple tote uh, I will be using this in summer we're heading into summer now in Australia and I think this is going to get a lot of use overnight bags overnight stays going away maybe having a picnic somewhere I mean this is super super cute Remember guys, if you want details of this bag or any of the bags you see behind me, you need to subscribe to my magazine. I'll put a link on screen so you guys can click right into it and subscribe and you can get all the details. I am stepping back for the comparisons because this bag is so large. The first comparison I'm gonna do is with the Dior Book Tote. Wrong way, there we go. Similar, similar sizing, but the Book Tote is so boxy. You can't put it on the shoulder. It is a little bit difficult to use because it does get heavy. Um, and then you've got sort of no means of carrying it around. The tote, the YSL tote is super easy. Swings on the shoulder, amazing. Absolutely love it. I, I think volume wise, they're very similar. The book tote does look a little bit bigger, but in saying that, you know, the YSL tote will expand. So, I think um, they're going to be very, very similar because there's like a wide opening, right? And this just opens like that. So comparison number one. Okay, comparison number two is with the Chanel DeVille tote. I like to compare this one because this is a real kind of beach bag. It's not super, super large, but it is semi-large it is 31 centimeter size now this YSL I will put the measurements on screen it is not the normal large size um, in this tote in the YSL tote um, it is the extra large size so this size that I'm holding is not the common one that I see everyone holding um, and I deliberately got this one because 
The other size is very similar to this size. And I was like, I've already got this size. I want something bigger. So, um, yeah, just so you guys know. It is the larger of the, I think this is the largest size that the tote, this tote comes in, um, but it does come in various sizes. So Chanel DeVille tote, you can sort of see they are a little bit similar, but the YSL is definitely wider. Very similar in side volume. And then base, really hard to sort of see, but I believe you'll be able to fit a lot more in the YSL tote just because it can expand you know can widen so there you go was i holding that the wrong way the whole time apologies if i was and the final comparison i want to do is with the brand new chanel 22 bag um shopping bag in the large size um, this one is the huge size by the way guys and I think it's a great comparison because they're very, very similar volume wise. They're both extra large bags. The widths are very, very similar. And to be honest, I think that the volume is going to be identical internally. You can even see the width there at the base is very, very similar as well. Obviously the YSL one is wider here on the sides, but overall, I think they are a very, very similar size bag. I will head into the mod shots now so you guys can have a look at this on my frame. I did wear a black dress today, but I'm hoping that the different fabric options will show you guys how different um, it can look. I think this bag would actually look stunning with a white dress as well, a really casual summer dress or um, something like that. Very beach vibes, but still quite chic, very Parisian. Uh, this quilting and the black on gold is very Parisian. So I can see why this bag is so popular and has been so popular the past couple of months. There's really only a couple of ways to hold this bag. You can hold it in the crook of your arm, which I will show you guys. Um, you can hand hold it, obviously, um, and you can put it on your shoulder. And I think the fact that you can put it on your shoulder is uh, an absolute win because when you start filling this bag, if you're at the markets, if you're at the beach, if you're buying things um, and you need to put it on your shoulder, you can, and it's not going to be a pain in the butt. I still am yet to use this bag. I wanted to film this video before I did that, but I'm gonna to start to use it. I cannot wait to start using it and to give you guys some feedback on how it goes. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. What do you think of the new YSL tote? Do you love it as much as I do? What do you think of the size? It is a really, really big size. And remember, I'm not that much of a tall person, so I know that it drowns me, but I just love the practicality. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and head over to my Instagram. I'm super prominent there. I do giveaways, polls, and a hell of a lot more. So I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.